Hey guys, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? We are in the middle of a pump. Bitcoin at $23,000. Unbelievable. I was working at McDonald's, but I quit this morning because now I am rich again thanks to Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. Super exciting day. And the question looming in the minds of a lot of people around the world is whether you should buy right now or you should wait it out. Because definitely a lot of people are feeling formal right now. They're like, okay, so what's going on? Should I buy or should not buy? That is what I will help you guys understand right now to help put things into perspective. Now, if you're just joining us, welcome to the last stream. And by the way, I have $30,000 on the side that I want to invest in an altcoin to basically double it in the next seven days. So I want you guys to tell me which cryptocurrency I should buy with that so that we can have fun on the channel. We can do some experiment. I will show you that as well. But um, to also remind you, when you join in, you know the first thing you want to do is to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And thanks to everybody who has smashed the like button and turned it blue. All right. Where are we in crypto, guys? It's amazing. I mean, you don't have to be a genius to look at all the green. Let me just find the heat maps right now. But right now at the very top of the pump in the last 24 hours, Aptos 55% in one day. Optimism, 30.6%. Solana, 18%. Mana, 18%. Hedera Hashcraft, 17%. It's unbelievable. Even some of the coins that are shared in the private group, I know some of you guys are already printing on those already. Now, let's go to the hit maps and actually check out what's going on there. It's insane. Everything green, basically. Everything is green right now. Now, which coin are you holding right now? Can you tell me in the comments? Which one of the pumped coins are you holding right now and are you making money? I will help you understand what's going on, but also what is the right move to make. But I need you guys to tell me which coin are you pumping with? How, excite, how excited are you? Okay, now let's get into the business. By the way, there's this other odd coin that I've been trading, but we can talk about this at the very, very end. Okay, talk about this at the very, very end. Anyway, so a lot of you guys have been asking me in the last few months, say, oh, you know, how much should I buy Bitcoin or at least when I go out there and talk about cryptocurrency, I meet someone there and I say, oh, I'm a crypto trader. They're like, oh, yeah, that thing went down so much. Uh, our Bitcoin started going down. Oh, but Bitcoin, it's down, right? It's down more than 70%, right? That's what people have been saying, right? And I've been telling you guys repeatedly, the best thing to do is to dollar cost average. I showed you guys how to set up your own bots on Bybit, on OKX, to basically buy Bitcoin on your behalf automatically. If you have been doing that religiously, it means that you don't have to worry about anything. I've been buying throughout the bear market, right? I have my bots set up. They were doing the buying. I didn't even have to think about one thing. And right now, it's just time to either take profit or watch my pockets explode. Millionaires are about to be made again. That's how exciting this is. Now, if you are someone who is like, oh, but should I buy now? Should I not buy? Okay, I'm here to help you to understand where are we in the cycle and what possibly you should do. Okay, so let's go to the charts again quickly and we can basically just make a technical argument of this. By the way, if you want to start trading as well, I am using Bybit and OKX. Link to these exchanges is down in the description below. I recommend my subscribers to always use more than one cryptocurrency exchange because that is what we call risk management. So links to those are down in the description. If you use my link, I tell you, you will get some discount and some welcome bonuses from those exchanges. This is where we stand on Bitcoin. This is a weekly chart. We have been absolutely decimated for a very long time and we are just getting started. Now, if you remember, back then we have been trading using these purple lines that you're looking at on my chart. These were our symbols. We were doing like grids trading up and down within these ranges. And now, if you notice, for the first time in a long time, we are now above. 
all of the paper lines that we are drawing before. What does this mean? It means Bitcoin has broken up in uh, has broken up basically a breakout in super strength that it's almost unstoppable. Two weeks of pure bullishness based on the volume indicators right now, and I was hoping that it crash. Or at least I was expecting for a minor crash last week or so. It didn't happen. And I told you, if it goes above certain critical levels, it will be unstoppable. Now, based on this chart that we're looking at right now and also the volume that we're looking at, Bitcoin is very likely, if you look at the top, the more likely spot it will stop will be around $31,000. Because at around 28300 there will be a little bit of... Um, there will be a little bit of sell-off here, but at the same time, we'll be breaking above the EMA trading line. And after that explosion, we will go all the way to 30,000. So right now, it's very, very likely that Bitcoin it will hit $30,000. Now, the question is all about, so what do you do right now? What about the altcoins? Which ones are going to explode? So I can give you a little history lesson for that. So every single time when we are looking at a, a market pump in crypto, Bitcoin is always the first one to strike. All right. This is 2020. Right. After the, pande the pandemic announcements, blah, blah, blah. Where was that? It was here. We crashed heavily around this area. Down to 3000. And then Bitcoin started moving. Now, altcoins wait for a move like this right we had the first run up to here right and we after that consolidated for a little bit here and after this little consolidation it's when we exploded again bitcoin started going up and then altcoins also followed a lot so bitcoin always have to make a leg to go up and everything else follows with it and if you, uh, we can look at other altcoins here also around the same moment in 2020. Okay. You will see the delay factor in at least one or two candlesticks on the weekly before the altcoins gets to a certain level. So the Bitcoin's um, dominance gets so high that at some point it has to reverse itself by altcoins pumping. What typically happens is that people make so much money on Bitcoin and then they take some of their money and start s sprinkling it over on altcoins so that they can make a lot more money. So right now we are approaching to that level. We are approaching to that level where Bitcoin has made a good rise a little bit for at least two weeks. But if you Ex uh, exploit this in, on a daily chart, you see that it's a lot of pumping for a few days, right? And we will reach at a level where we can consolidate and we have already broken out of here. So it doesn't mean that it's going to happen now. If you zoom out on the daily, it looks like the next consolidation level will be above 23,000, somewhere here, above 23,000. Right now, we are at 23,000 already, but, you know, we have to basically settle down because the next level of where we could see some consolidation is somewhere here from 23,500 to 24. So you're waiting for that to consolidate for, for the altcoins to start pumping up. Now, what should you do is the question. Okay, if you weren't buying in the 16K, 15K levels, 17K, you were waiting for 10K because all the YouTubers are like, Bitcoin is going to 5,000. Well, then you have to buy now. You don't really have a choice. Because if you don't, you risk missing out. The good thing about Bitcoin is this. If you buy right now, even if it reverses, you know that in the long time, as long as you held onto your position, well, you will be fine. You don't have to worry about anything. Over the long term, you will make money anyway. Bitcoin is going to go to $100,000. It will go to a million dollars. That is inevitable. However... To time the market is extremely difficult. That's why I taught you guys how to use a DCA bot on your own to basically do, do dollar cost averaging. What's risky right now is altcoins. Because if you buy the wrong altcoins and they start going down, you're more likely not going to make your money back in some of them, right? So right now, I would say if you feel like FOMO is catching up with you, just buy some Bitcoin. Because what if it goes to $50,000? Then you will cry harder. So I would say right now it makes sense for you to buy. 
Okay, so King's, uh, King here says, I bought around 16, at, at around 16,000 and Panic sold at 20,000. That's okay. That's still smart. That's still smart. And what you can do now, if it breaks out above 24,000, you can do dollar cost averaging on the way up. That's also what you can do. If you have a lot of money, maybe don't throw it all at once. Just start dollar co cost averaging up on the way up. I have made a tutorial showing you guys how to do that. You can be buying even when it's going up slowly. You can say buy every day or buy every two days, whatever. And you're still going to find a much better average price to buy into it. Right. So now that we have settled that, that it, it is the right time to buy if you were not buying on the... Because you're trying to catch the, the wave right now. If we're not buying then, then yeah, it definitely makes sense to buy. Now, altcoins are something that still needs to, ex to be explored. Even if, bit, even if this is a fake pump, it's a dead cat bounce. You need to know that altcoins are still going to get their moment to shine. And I know that some of them are kind of shining right now, but we haven't basically reached the all-time high of that yet. Let me show you the Bitcoin's dominance right now. It's extremely crazy. Now, you could be buying some altcoins because their moment will come. Look at the... So what happens with this basically is that whenever this is going up, altcoins average around. They don't do as good. But whenever this is going down, altcoins starts to pump. And I already showed you the ratio of how this works. People make money into Bitcoin and they take some of those profits to invest in altcoins. Now, if you look at on the right list of the, all the altcoins that I have here, only a few of them pound. Most of them are negative. And how are they negative when Bitcoin is going positively? It's just because the Bitcoin dominance doesn't work like that. Bitcoin dominance means Bitcoin gets to shine, gets everyone excited, attracts more liquidity to the market. And when it's taking a cool off, altcoins starts to pump. So right now, if you have missed out on a lot, on a lot of all those altcoins, be sure that you will make money. If you buy the right altcoins, you still make money. I told you guys, I am extremely bullish on AI coins, artificial intelligence. And I shared a list of the coins that I'm buying in the, in the Discord server. And I hope you guys saw it. And I will continue holding onto them until they all start exploding. It's going to happen, guys. This is the moment, guys. This is the moment we have been waiting for. I just quit my job from McDonald's again. I'm now, I'm now a multimillionaire again. So goodbye, McDonald's. Now I'm back into crypto again. Thanks to Bitcoin being back. And if you look at the dominance right now, guys, it's so insane. This is going to be unstoppable. Just to extrapolate this from a technical perspective, we are right here. Right? And it has already broken up. As long as we, break, we continue to break above this, I think we are more likely to see this continue going to 46%. Around 46%, we can now see altcoins start to pump when Bitcoin dominance is reversing itself. All right? All right. Any recommendation video for setting up the chart? Well, it's not really one video just to set up a chart, but basically... If, you're, if you don't know how to technically analyze, you don't know how to trade, I recommend right now, after this live stream, you go to cryptouniversity.network and sign up for the Cryptocurrency Masterclass. It combines cryptocurrency investing, trading, NFTs, technical analysis, everything you see that I, you see me doing or everything I do in crypto, you will learn it within Crypto University. You should do that after the show. And also, if you pay attention to, uh, where is that? Where's the USDX? If you pay attention to the USDX, what did I tell you guys before? There is a clear correlation between the US dollar and Bitcoin, the Bitcoin's price. Whenever Bitcoin is rising or whenever the USDX is falling, Bitcoin rise in price. And we have been talking about this. So... If you don't understand why the bull, the bull market is, you can ignore it all you want because the macroeconomics, the macroeconomics of the economy right now are not, allow, are not allowing for Bitcoin to be going up. But here we go. And Daniel here says the MACD strategy is still the best. Yes, I know you guys are making money. I made a video uh, three to four weeks ago 
showing people how to trade. Basically, I give them one strategy to use. Don't do anything else. Just use one strategy. And everybody who has been following that is making money. I mean, the, the video is called The Ultimate Guide to Crypto Trading, I think. Yeah, very, very simple. All you need is a trading view account, which is free. Then you need a Bybit account. And it's free also. You can sign up with link in the description below. And basically, a MACD, which is also free on TradingView. That's all you need to do. All right. So let's do a comparison of USDX and BTC. And you will see it as clear as day. I don't understand why people struggle to make money when things are this, like, very straightforward. It's not really that complicated, guys. Check this out. You don't have to be a super genius to, to see the obvious like this, right? Just, just check this out. Here we go. What more can I say, guys? USDX falling, BTC pumping. Here you go. So if you want to see where the market could start swinging back or going backwards on the way up, just time this as well. Look, I, I usually put an alert on this to sort of see what's going on. But it's also something you can do on your own on TradingView. It's free. You have to monitor this indicator because it makes sense. And we have talked about it before. I appreciate it if you guys destroy the like button if you're enjoying the, the live stream. Now... If this is a fake out, because it could also potentially happen, if you look at the macroeconomics in the world, the interest rate is still high enough and it seems to be going up continuously, which is bad for risk on assets like Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. So it doesn't make too much sense to see the crypto market pumping right now. At the same time, the U.S., dollar or at least the u.s as a country debt has just hit a new all-time high and trust me guys those are pure pure fundamentals to make for a case for bitcoin saudi arabia just made an announcement saying that they are open to start re accepting other currencies as payment for the dollar i mean for petrol or gas in their region for the oil so there are points to be made that the macroeconomic landscape itself is changing. That's why even stocks are starting to do well. I, told, I, I made an announcement on Twitter saying that I am buying also. I am also buying. Should I announce it here, guys? I'm buying stocks. Especially, I am buying NVIDIA. So we can look at NVIDIA right now. This is NVIDIA stock, 159 at the moment. And I think this stock is going to explode. Right now, it's also in a breakout moment. I think NVIDIA is probably going to outperform Tesla even because of artificial intelligence and everything that's going on. Um, if you want to know how, where I buy stocks, I buy my stocks with crypto. I have... A course, I have a, a, a module in my trading course at Crypto University. In that course, it will show you how you can you buy stocks using crypto safely. So make sure you check that out if you're taking my course at Crypto University in the trading course. I literally show you how to buy stocks using crypto. So I'm buying some Tesla, some Amazon, but I'm buying more NVIDIA right now because the computation is just becoming gold again with all the artificial intelligence chat GPTs and all these other models, guys, there will be a need for large computation demands. It's already there. And NVIDIA is basically the leader in that aspect. So all you got to do right now is make sure you have your money in the market at these prices. That's all I can say. Now, what, what about the, a case for a short? Now, I'll make it clear. At spot, I'm extremely long because I'm buying. I've been buying dollar cost averaging. And I showed you guys. I showed you guys how to do that. But what's more interesting to me is that I think it pays right now to also have some short positions. Because when we, we're going to probably going to experience a major flash crash. Because there will be a lot of 
huge sell-offs, people trying to dump their coins and all that stuff to take profit. If that happens, you don't want to be in the market as much, right? Well, so you are in the market anyway because you're an investor at spot. It pays right now to be building short positions. They get stopped. Many of mine have been stopped. Many of my positions have been stopped. I tried to short uh, Gala. I made money when it was it, it flash crashed the other day, and then on Thursday I think, and then I didn't close the position. Then it became red. I had to close it at a loss. Right. I tried to short Solana. I also got stopped. I made a little bit of money, but I didn't take profit. So I stayed it. Oh, it it stayed open. I got stopped. But that's how it worked. We have done this so many times on this channel with Dogecoin and all that stuff. Right. You try many times, you get stopped, you lose a little bit. But when you catch the falling knife, you make all the money back plus more. So these are also perfect moments to build good short positions, especially on all the coins that have been incredibly going up like this, especially Aptos. I mean, Aptos, if this is a real bull market, it could go to $100 like Solana, $60 or $100. It could do it. But it is also a ticking time bomb. So... It just depends on when. So whenever you see Bitcoin sneezing and trying to retrace, you have to pay attention to the altcoin shorts. I'm still trying to short. I could lose money, but I could also just make a lot, a lot, a lot of money out there. All right. But pay attention to uh, Shiba Inu as well. All right. <laughs> Grandpa Rock says traders are losers. Well, it is kind of stressful, I know. But look, we make more money because for a trader, it doesn't it doesn't matter whether markets is going up or down. Right. We make money either way. But then uh, why a lot of people lose out on trading or they give up is because they experience a loss and then they quit. Like when whenever I'm entering a trade, I'm definitely mindful that I I could lose money. Also, it's not like a one way street, right? That's just how it works. You lose you you lose some trades, but the rule of thumb is you want to win more trades than you lose. That's all. So don't be afraid to set up some short positions, either now or they can be like oh twenty three thousand one hundred guys. We're pumping. We're pumping. We're pumping. So don't be scared to put out some positions short and with your stop loss and you get stopped. It's all good. It's perfectly fine. Because look, otherwise, if you don't do that, you will cry when everything is crashing down and there's nothing you can do about it, right? That's also not a good thing. So wow, Shiba Inu haven't moved in the last in the last 24. That's quite interesting. But the good thing about these moments is that uh, the art coins don't really crash when bitcoin dominance is growing they stay the same they just lose like one or two percent but they maintain their position waiting for an explosion to happen whenever bitcoin is done all right so i think there's a lot of there's a huge opportunity hey by the way one of the coins that we bought open right you guys know open is now above a hundred bucks. We entered our, our, oh, 104 dollars. So we're killing it. This was the coin. I don't know when you guys entered. Um, I started telling you guys about this when it was a thousand dollars. Now I told you that it, it was below, below 100, it went all the way to 60. And now, uh, last week we were talking about it, it was below $100. Now it's above at $104. So it's going well. I think this could go back to $1,000 again. I'm very optimistic about this project. So there you go. Uh, the supply of this coin is extremely very small, which is a good thing. And I think there is something to be made here. There is some money to be made. Low cap. And other low I'll actually make another live stream about low cap coins. Guys, do you remember who here remembers RebelBots. I was checking it out today and I was looking at the volumes. I was looking at the volume. They have now a volume of $30,000 a day. I'm like, wow. I might as well just accumulate a ton of it. Whenever they decide to pump it, I might just be all in because right now it's like it's, a, it's so cheap 
and it's so cheap even for the owners to manipulate this coin and pump it up, right? It's $21,000 in 24-hour volume. So I'm thinking I might just have to accumulate some of this, man, even with a small amount, it's a small position. Grandpa Rock says DCA and hodl uh, and stake my go. Yeah, absolutely. You know, if you're a long-term investor in this market, that's basically all you have to do. You slowly put all your money in crypto when you retire. I don't want to make mistakes. Does it uh, does it all in the all-in-one masterclass cost three hundred dollars? Yes, the all-in-one masterclass. It's basically you have everything. And right now, it's not a subscription, so you only pay once. And you will make the money back, right? If you, especially that we're already in a, in a pump in the market, what you learn in the all-in-one all masterclass, you will start making money immediately. So go do it and just make the time. Invest the time to sit down, watch those videos, do the experiments and the assignments, and you will be fine. Go to CryptoUniversity.network. Crypto University, it looks like this. CryptoUniversity.network. This is it. And you just go to the all-in-one masterclass. So this is what you need right here. All-in-one masterclass is, is the ticket to crypto riches. Wow. Did, I, did that rhyme? I like the sound of that. All right. So another thing I, I also will pay attention to in the next uh, video that I will make, guys, is this. V-chain. <laughs> V-chain. V chain, V E T. It hasn't moved at all. And you you know, you know. It's coming. There you go. Very humble, humble movement. But I do believe that V chain is going to break this very, very soon. Where is that? We have like three consecutive hit maps so look look exactly where we are right now it's basically here okay so we almost just broke in right i can see this coming v chain is coming so pay attention to it next stop is going to be 0 0.028 and after it breaks above that we're basically exploding again Make no mistakes, guys. VeChain is coming. Never say I didn't tell you. Let me add it to my list already. VeChain is coming. To all the VeChain investors. The only coin that is not coming is XRP. That's just not going to happen. That is not happening anytime soon. So, But it is what it is. It is what it is. Okay? So do not be scared of trading and taking positions this is the time to make money scared money never make money open a bybit account or, or okx account whichever you like to trade on below you can choose to say uh, you'll be trading spot trading on one account and derivatives on one account it's basically all up to you king says i started crypto when bear market started around november 2021 i'm never giving up all in all day every day yes i love it and you see, you, this is what, what I've been saying, that if you, if you started with crypto, not in the bull market, you are the luckiest person in the world. It's better than people who started like when it was a hundred and, I mean, Bitcoin was like $50,000, Wi-Fi was $90,000, right? And now all those people, they have seen the, their portfolio depleted and some of them get depressed. But you entered in crypto in November, and now you just bought in. You're like, oh, wow, now you have made so much money already. It's the perfect timing. Just don't lose yourself, you know. The, the most important thing I can tell you is to build your Bitcoin position. Make sure you have as much Bitcoin, uh, as, much Bitcoin as, as possible. So if you don't have any Bitcoin, is this the right time to buy? Yes, it is. It is the right time to buy if you don't have any. If you were staying on the sidelines waiting for 10K, that might not happen. 10K might not come, so you might as well go in and start accumulating. And at the same time, you, if you have a Bitcoin position belt, you can play it by also having some altcoins because the altcoins, their day is coming. Altcoin season is coming soon. If you trade NFTs as well, 
start accumulating some good ones because in any time soon that is also going to start moving and we will leave you behind you know accumulate all the good nfts because the money always follow where there is activity and nfts are still active right now this is bitcoin 23223 guys we're pumping we are pumping i think here next stop is right here 25,146. I can look at it at the, on the heat maps because now we were battling with 23,000 and we are already above it. Destroy the like button if you're watching. Destroy the like button if you're a crypto investor. I just quit my job from McDonald's today because crypto is back. I'm tired of flipping burgers. It's time to get rich, my friends. Check it out. Uh, let's bring in the one minute time frame to actually see the real movement in real time. Here we go. Yeah, this is nothing. Consider this nothing, guys, because we're too zoomed in. Okay? But what if we even bring it to a one second and we see the real movements? Oh, man. Right now, oh, so you could actually trade even from a one second right now, right? Because Bitcoin has just been extremely bullish. It's insane, man. Here we go. Yeah, I don't think here you can stop Bitcoin at this point anymore. Things are going to explode. I have $30,000 that I want to buy on Outcoin. If you have any recommendations, tell me. I'll do it. Oh, okay. Seems like uh, Neo is also starting to move over here. Okay, let's just go to one minute to make our charts look a little bit more prettier than this. Rune also is... Oh, okay. Rune is kind of moving also. Okay. Okay. On the one minute, there's a pump in volume here on Rune, bro. Seems like things are starting to actually getting shaked up. We haven't seen that much volume in a while. Let's zoom out. Yeah, look. You can zoom out all you want. The last time, oh, Rune. Okay, let's see. On the 21st, today, we had seen volumes and it got dumped. And this time around, we have seen much volume also come back. And this one has stayed. So maybe Rune is happening, guys. At any moment in time, I'm long, I'm long personally on this coin, Rune, Thor Chain, because I know it will pump. It's going to $5, no doubt about that. Algorand, yeah, I told you guys about Algorand before. It's going to happen. Like, you don't really have to be a genius at this point. Just have your money in the market on a lot of coins that haven't moved yet. You will be absolutely fine. VeChain. EOS, NEO, Rune, OHM. What, what else also? Uniswap. Uniswap will start pumping extremely also. Another one is that is really, really good. I think Ave is going to do, I mean, Compound especially. Not Compound itself, but like MakerDAO. MakerDAO is going to do incredibly well also. But, you know, who want to who wanna go crazy with me on RaboBots? 20, 20, I mean, this is $21,000 of trading volume. Like, if I step in, I can put five grand on this, which is not financial advice. It's really risky if the trading volume is 21K. But I can really go crazy and put some serious money on this and move the market. And whenever they decide to pump it on their side, then I make profit because it's really easier to double this. But for now, you know, stick to the ones that have more liquidity. So, you know, MakerDAO is still above, like, uh, it's still below $1,000 right now. Good, good moves. And it hasn't really moved at all. All-time high with this coin. Last year, it was $6,000. $6,000? dollars $6, $6, my friends. That's where we're at. $6,000, and right now, we're standing at $700. So, I know a lot of you guys get gets turned off when you see a coin that's $700. You're like, oh, that's already high. But, like, 
Did you check the supply? It only has a max supply of 1 million coins. Circulating supply, 901,000 coins. All right. I have just started with Crypto University. Can't wait to grab info. Love your content. Thank you so much. I appreciate everybody who is in Crypto University. Do not forget to join the Discord server also because that's where we discuss trading and share positions. And write us a review on Trustpilot. Crypto University is the best. Give us a five-star review. This is your key. The best university for making money in the world. Not like the normal real university. This is the university of the future right now. And we're bringing more stuff, AI and all that stuff, which will help you guys to even make more money in the new economy. All right. So I will go right now. I'll go for a run because I'm so pumped today. I've been trading all day. Basically, I wasn't doing much, just watching my money prints itself. On the other side, getting stopped on some, on some shorts, uh, which I'll re-enter. But I might go, if you want, if you guys are down, we can go on another live stream. Uh, I'll bring 30K, I'll bring $30,000 in cash in USDT and we'll try to buy some stuff if you want. Because that is profit that I made today. And I, I want to double it by investing it into another altcoin or a few altcoins. We can do that and we'll see how it plays out. All right. Otherwise, I'm always in Discord. So if you guys are in the Crypto University Discord, we'll see you there. Most of our professors are in there, always sharing what they're doing. And also, most importantly, Edward is coming back on Monday. Perfect timing for the Professor Eddie to come back. And we're going, we're going to have a party in the Discord server. All right, guys. I will see you then. I appreciate all the likes on this video. It helps a lot because it helps with the YouTube algorithm and also all the new subscribers to the channel and all the members of the channel. Man, you guys are amazing. I will see you in the next video. All right. Glory says, cut down. Yeah, maybe we should actually do some uh, TA and cut down the next live stream. I'll, I'll, do, I'll do another live stream. Uh, let's see how it's caught doing right now. I have a lot of this shit. Woohoo! Look at the oh, it's a one minute. I was wondering. Okay, not too bad actually. Not too bad. It's standing just as many other altcoins are standing at the moment. Okay. Um, I don't know if you guys are, are bullish right now on stacks, but stacks is also something that you should look at. So I think the next live stream, I'll do a little bit more altcoin analysis live, analyzing altcoins live. If you want to join me, you can tell me which coin to look at and we can find some really good coins that are, that are pumping. I will be honest with you guys. I have a futures position on... Uh, I think it's Ethereum and a few other altcoins. That is short by the end of February. So basically, I'm predicting that in Feb, these coins will be worth less, some of them. So just so that you know, it's a gamble that I've taken on that one. But I do think in Feb, the prices might be low, especially on Ethereum, considering that in March, Shanghai is going to launch and we will be able to withdraw. I mean, millions of Ethereum is staked right now. So people will be able to withdraw it and flood the market with more Ethereum. So just keep that in mind. I don't think it's a bad move to open a perpetual. I'm not even a perpetual or you can open a weekly or a monthly or a quarterly futures position and just wait it out. All right. If you don't have a trading account, links are in the description below. Join in. Buy bit. Link is in the description below. OKX. Link is in the description below. Why do I use two platforms to trade? It's simply because I don't trust anyone in crypto. My money, my business. So you see FTX collapsed and you don't want to rely on one platform to, to control your money. So always use two different platforms. I will never stress that enough because a lot of people in crypto, they lose money simply because they're so careless, right? And most importantly, buy yourself a Ledger Nano. If you're serious about crypto, buy yourself a Ledger Nano. Link to that is also in the description. It's a hardware wallet. 
All right, my friends. Gala is going to explode. Worth with crypto is saying Gala is going to explode. Yeah, I mean, I was short. I got stopped on Gala. So you got to respect that Gala, of course. Let's open it up. Here we go. Ooh. Look at it from the Fibonacci perspective. <laughs> from the Fibonacci retracement perspective, Gala has just hit up. So, I mean, I told you guys that there was a TP here on the first level. And I was expecting it to hit the 38.2, but it doesn't seem the it doesn't seem like the case right now. So we're about we're above the red zone. It could probably potentially go up considerably. But if you want to enter this, I don't think right now is a good time. Rather, just put buy orders on all the levels: 23.6, 38.2, 50, and the golden ratio. The golden ratio is basically corresponding with the EMA indicator as well, which is a very good sign. All right. But there are many other coins that haven't moved as much as this. Right. So make sure you check that out. Where is the next? Oh, so this is Panjak. Mr. Kumar is asking where is the next resistance for BTC? Okay. Let's bring it on. Bitcoin. So right now, we basically just broke one resistance level of 22,800 and 38 i will also bring in optimus prime all right so as you can tell the next one here is at 24300 but it's very weak because again if i bring in v, uh, vrvp or vpvr you'll be able to see that the volumes around this level it's not really that strong even if you zoom out so it's a very minimal um, resistance. The critical resistance is more likely around 30,000. And that's what's scary about this. A lot of people do not know that the serious resistance is somewhere around 30,000. That's the only level that Bitcoin has a serious sideways movement. Check it out. It's right here. It's right here. You remember when the crashes happened from 50,000 or 40,000? It was only coming back from 29,000 and above. We bounced there multiple times here. So the next serious resistance that I can see for BTC is basically from, I would say, the minimum of 28,000 all the way to 30,000. But also considering that, there is a lot of sale orders there. If I turn on my liquidity screener, you'll be able to see. Okay, this is the index. Let me just bring in the real BTC itself. From Coinbase, I like to use Coinbase cause more liquidity. So this is where we can basically understand, right? So look at how it's corresponding. And more shorts, more liquidations will happen around the 30,000 area <laughs> here. Starting from uh, more people are going to get liquidated at around starting from 24,100 liquidations. More liquidations, even crazier at 27,000. Even more crazy at 30,000, all the way to 34,000. Whereas on the buy orders, oh my gosh, so this is where the disparity comes in because there is more profit to be made easier for the, for the controllers or the market, whoever they are, the wells, they will easily make money by pumping Bitcoin than to dump it. Because if they crash the price, the sweetest spot where people will get liquidated, people who are long, like myself, from like 15K or the lower in a 17K, I can only get liquidated from like 11,000 or 8,000, lower and lower, because people are talking about 10K. So from $10,000, a lot of people will get liquidated. And right now, 10,000 is now away, way, way far away from that 30,000 is much closer. So if you are a whale right now, you're trying to make money by liquidating people, you might as well just pump Bitcoin to 30,000 and then everybody else loses money, right? So I don't think it pays to, or everybody who is building like big short positions on Bitcoin is just wrong at this point, all right? So you ask Mr. Kumar, and that is my, answer to that that's where serious liquidations are having the resistance is about is 24,100 after that is all the way to to 30,000 
turn off the liquidation screener because it makes my screen look ugly. Hey, if you're watching this right now, I would appreciate your subscription click and the bell button so that if I go live, my next live stream, I'm, I'm coming with $30,000 cash and I'll show it to you. We're going to buy into some stuff and then we'll see how quick we can flip it. Why am I comfortable doing that? I made that money today. So I really don't care. All right. Um, I think I got to go right now. I got to go for a run in good spirits, crypto pumping, everyone's happy. I will see you guys on the next live stream. Subscribe to this channel, destroy the like button, turn it blue, and I'll see you soon. I will make another live stream tonight. Peace, my friends. Love you.